Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV and Boat. So today I'm going to show you how I solved the problem of a bug screen for our trawler door. Now it is an odd shaped door. It's not exactly square and it's a little shorter and narrower than a standard house door. And it slides so you know if you like to have it open bring air in. My problem is air and wasps and mosquitoes and flies like to come in too. So what we decided to do was use one of those magnetic screens. Now they were a lot larger than what we needed. Of course they're made for a house door or sliding door so we had to fabricate it uh, for the size of our door and I'll show you how we did that. First the length issue just simply cut the bottom off so that it was the right length. The width, what we did is we carefully folded it on itself so that it was just the right size for the door. And then we purchased a snap kit and put some snaps into the material. It's just a cheap snap kit with a little uh, punch on it. It's very easy to, to do. Um, you put the, the snap through the material and with the punch you just hammer it down and it puts it in the thing. And then there's uh, studs that came with the kit. So what we did is we screwed it around the frame here in different spots. So that makes it easy to put it on and off versus it kind of comes with a strip of Velcro that you're supposed to tape. And I don't know if it would stick very well to our teak anyway. So I decided to just uh, put the studs in, make it easier to hang and take off. So let's demo, demo it, how easy it is to hang and show it in action for you. Okay, so just do up the top snaps here. That easy. Get out. Cool. So it's a little easier for Anne to go in and out. I'm a little taller, so I gotta kinda stoop down when I go in. But it's doable. It snaps back together. If there's a little wind sometimes it doesn't it takes a little second to snap back but it's pretty good i can add some weights to the bottom there and uh also put more magnets but pretty cool it's not too bad on the bottom against the teak there this side is quite against the teak same at the top kind of I think I missed a bit of snap so there's a little bit of a bulge there I could put another snap there and another snap there but you know it's not going to get every bug but you just want to get the bulk of them from flying through during the day and you can see out quite nicely as well you know if it's really windy it would probably blow in but in that case we'd probably keep the door closed and just open the screen windows Here's the outside view, so not too bad. Well, there you go, it looks pretty good and it seems to be fairly effective. Gets a thumbs up for man anyway, so that's important. Well, next time, Ray from Love You RV and Boat. Cheers, everyone.